So now that you know how to create a multi-model project uh, using an existing R type, let's say you want to create your own folder structure and uh, put it in the public repository or put it in the local. Um, in this section, we're going to learn exactly about that. We're going to build a new R type, and the way to do it is we're going to first build a new project just like we did earlier. And I'm not going to show that again. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just uh, calling it uh, zero web um, arch type and then i'm going to create uh, a new project from it which will be inside the target folder by running a command maven arch type and the goal is called create hyphen from hyphen project then we are going to create a new folder uh, called uh, zero web prototype and copy everything from the target folder to zero web prototype so let's take a look at the demo so I just created a basic uh, web project uh, the Java project called zero web arch type and uh, I've already created I'm not going to show that again we've been doing this uh, for quite some time now and uh, I'm just going to go in zero web arch type and um, now we're going to type uh, maven arch type colon create hyphen from project and let's wait for it to complete now so it has uh, created the project and uh, Nothing has changed in the the given project. The only thing of importance for us is under the target folder and we're going to see uh, that the new arch type, the skeleton has been created under the target and we're going to see how to create a prototype out of it. So now that you have created the arch type that you want, we're just going to create a new folder called zero web prototype. Um, I think I already created one. It says it exists. So let's um, go in there. CD zero hyphen web prototype. And now what we're going to do is we are going to um, copy everything under the arch type zero web arch type target generated sources arch type folder and uh, we're going to type the command move from zero web arch type target um, generated sources arch type and everything under arch type we're going to copy it in the zero web prototype folder and it's uh, it shows that it has already copied and here's the tree structure that it shows here that it has copied everything correctly and that's the tree structure for this and um, now let's take a look at uh, the project structure and see what's what has been copied in there so under zero web prototype if you'll see that in the pom.xml it has defined packaging as maven arch type and uh, the other thing I want to show you is uh, the in the class file that it has renamed everything uh, in, in the Pomod XML under arch type resources it has just put a placeholder in there so whenever we are going to run this uh, custom arch to create a new project and when and our interactive mode is on it's going to replace those value and same goes for the app status servlet uh, that's the default one that it got created uh, it's going to create placeholder for packages and a package name and all that stuff so it's just going to create a placeholder for you whatever you provide it's going to get replaced and it's going to get copied in the or overridden in the app status servlet and pom.xml for you so that's how uh, it's done next we're going to take a look at how to use this arch type to create our own project So 
so now using this custom R step is very very simple um, all we're going to do is uh, let's say we're going to create a new project called test hyphen project using the R step that we just created and to do that we're just going to go back a uh, folder up and we're going to type maven arch type colon generate and we're going to type uh, d arch type catalog equals local and we've left the interactive mode equal to true uh, it's by default it's true so it's going to ask us for package name and over here it, it's asking us what to create from our local arch type if you see it hasn't we have provided catalog to local so it's not showing any remote otherwise the list would have been very long and there is only one available so we just chose one and it typed zero web arch type and now it's going to ask us for group id so we're going to provide the same this time i'm going to do something different i'm going to provide com zero maven from a local arch type and uh, next it's going to ask for artifact id we're going to call it test hyphen project and i'm just going to leave the version as is and package the same it's going to confirm yes and there you go there's a project test hyphen project as you can see on the left hand side restructure for it it created the app status servlet.java for you and if you are going to look in this class it would have added everything in the placeholder that I just show you, showed you in the previous demo it would have replaced uh, package name as com0 maven from local arch type web servlet app servlet.java so this brings us to the end of this lecture uh, thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this lecture